Hello, my name is Fred Schreiber. I'm the game director on Tempest Rising. Today we have something very special to show you guys. We're gonna do a one-on-one -on -one multiplayer match between me, myself, and uh, Brandon, our lead game designer. Uh, I'm gonna play as the Global Defense Forces and he's going to play as the Tempest Dynasty. The main focus of this match specifically is for me to show you guys a little bit more about base building and resource collecting. How does this mechanic work with the Global Defense Forces, which is slightly different than the other two factions in the game. Uh, I asked Brandon to go easy on me, so I have a little bit of time to show you guys uh, a bit more about what base building looks and feels like. I'm also going to show you some cool things up close so you can see what the different units in the game look like, how they feel to sir, play with and so on. Um, and then we're going to just battle it out and see who sir, wins. Yes, um, I'm going to cut a few places in the video so you don't have to sit here for a full hour and a half and see this match play out. But, uh, but hopefully it'll be uh, a good in-depth walkthrough of what a match in Tempest Rising uh, feels like and looks like. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll stop talking now and then uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started here with uh, with a 1v1 against uh, me and Brandon. New construction enjoy. options. Hello and welcome. I'm Brandon Castile, the lead game designer on Tempest Rising. I'm so excited to be able to bring you our first ever taste of 1v1 gameplay in our game. This match was recorded by Fred and myself for demonstration purposes, and we wanted to be able to show you a lot of different aspects of the gameplay. I truly hope you enjoy this sneak peek into Tempest Rising. Let's get started. Fred and I really wanted the gameplay to speak for itself, but I will be interjecting from time to time with light commentary or some other potential tidbits about the game design or what's going on in the game that you're watching right now. As you can see, we provide players with the option to start out with a small force in the beginning of a multiplayer match to allow for scouting and other kinetic interactivity while you get started. We don't want things to devolve into a lot of early rush strategies, so what you see here might change a bit before you get your hands on it, but I'm currently happy with this direction, eager to hear feedback on it. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but this map has a couple of resource crates sprinkled here and there in various nooks and crannies, another thing we're experimenting with. As you can see here, as you harvest Tempest, it leaves vines behind. These vines will eventually bear additional fruit, but only if they are not too far away from the living pod. If vines aren't close to a pod, they will die off, which makes the plant take longer to come back. Also, as you leave Tempest alone, it will mature over time, the pods growing and becoming worth more when harvested. This Tempest ecology is very important to us both in terms of flavor and balancing. New construction option. Construction complete. Unit ready. Constructing. Unit ready. Up we go. Acknowledged. Drone up. Roger that. Got it. We're off. Unit ready. Spitting her up. Got it. No problem. And here we see Fred making the approach into the Dynasty base. Sadly for him, I was ready with a pillager flame tank, which, well. Roger that. Battle control offline. Got it. No problem. Up we go. Yes, command. Unit ready. He's trying to scout up that hill, but I deny him that. Uh, and of course, those drones do rebuild themselves after a brief time. Ready. 
construction complete. Closing round. This is the Hunter Tank. It is a high-tech, long-ranged, versatile part of the GDF's offensive force. Fred pushing out, going past our Tempest rigs, doing some harvesting. Little defensive force there as well. Alright, phew. I was able to push Fred back, but not without some losses. Now, Fred is building a satellite uplink, one of the GDF's tech structures. And this is the Sentinel, a fast anti-infantry and anti-air scouting unit with the ability to equip a secondary weapon that marks enemy units. You can see that driving through that Tempest has built up an electrical charge on the Sentinels. I wonder what's up with that? Oh man, what a time to overdraw your power. Sorry, Fred.
losing. Understood. Need something? Unit ready. Constructing. Unit ready. Construction complete. Unit ready. Got it. Unit ready. We have our first drone mauler hitting the field. This is a heavy infantry that is pretty useful. It has two drones. It can stealth while immobile, and it packs a heck of a punch. We call this beautiful little defense the Sensor Array. Not only is it a stealth detector, but its weapon builds up Tempest Charge on vehicles in its radius. I get a kick out of it every time I see it in action. Quiet. 
All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more of these sometime in the future. And that was it. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Uh, I won. Thank God for Brandon letting, letting me win with his uh, big army of porcupines there at the end. But uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you really liked this, uh, this small little playthrough and got a feeling for what it feels and looks like to play as the GDF faction in, uh, in Tempest Rising. There's a lot to dive into that we didn't show in, uh, in this little presentation. Uh, a lot of units that we didn't show. We have the whole intel system. We have doctrines. Those elements we'll dive into a bit later. Um, and the game itself is in beta. So if you saw some things that doesn't look quite finished, don't worry, we're working on it. But uh, we quite like where, where this is heading. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this presentation and uh, I can't wait to, to show more.